Let's go to the Bocaria, man. And I've got the French women, the first French ladies that have ever talked to me on the street. Hello, Parisian girls. I just felt like I walked through Barcelona's skid row up. Your bag's wide open, kind of putting a target on your back. Getting some dodgy looks here. Salam alaikum. Hey, system. The system because the police is in Sahara Occidental. Sahara Libre. I don't problem with constitution in Barcelona. It's okay, I'm not going to pay the fine. No one pays. We have the true Pablo Escobar. He's living right here in Barcelona. Oh, hopefully I don't die or start hallucinating, get lost in Raval at night. This is a double Malta with a Catalan. Can't get any more Catalan than that. If you like the smoky dopey, the Mary Jane, the ganja, the devil's lettuce. Barcelona is your place. All right, you guys, so we are in the city of Barcelona on the famous transited, we already have friendly people, on one of the most transited walkways in the whole city, in all of Spain, and all of Europe for that matter, the famous Ramlas. Now, Las Ramblas is actually five different streets joined together. And one tip for when you come here is you want to avoid. Wow. Sois Alemanes? German? Yes. Wow. I knew it as soon as I saw you guys. Germans. For Deutschland. <laughs> All right, see ya. One thing you want to do when you come here is avoid these places because they're authentic tourist traps, overpriced. And if you just did a little Google search, you would find everything under three stars. So, Barcelona is the second biggest city. Barcelona is the second biggest city in Spain behind Madrid, but it is by far the most visited city with over seven million tourists annually. Now, of course, the last few years were a bit skewed. It's known for its beautiful architecture, like we see here, modernist architecture all throughout the city. And interestingly enough, the only other place that I saw architecture like this was in the Spanish autonomous city called Melilla, which is in the continent of Africa bordering Morocco. Very fascinating place. I visited there a couple weeks ago. All right, so we already have some of this fascinating architecture. Now, as you can see, there's tourists out and about. And this place is also infamous for its crime and pickpockets and even sometimes aggressive crime. Armed robberies, uh, aggressive pickpocketers, etc. So another tip that you want when you come here is to carry a bag like this, where you can closely secure your stuff right in front of you, knowing where it is at all times. Because we've all heard about the story of the nice lady, the nice old man, the innocent tourist who got their passport, their ID, their phone, whatever, stolen. That's a quick way to ruin a vacation. So the plan for today is to visit this adjacent neighborhood that is actually one of the most fascinating, historical, multicultural, and even some would say infamous neighborhoods in the whole city, the Barrio of El Raval. So our first stop is going to be... Hola. Hola. ¿Dónde sois? Frances. Frances? Wow, pero habláis español. Un poquito. Muy bien. Se ven españolas. You look Spanish. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> oh, Bea, Bea. Bea. Why are you filming? YouTube. Are you have a channel, YouTube? Yes. You're very cool. How many followers do you have? 30,000. 30,000? Wow. And what kind of a uh, thing are you doing? City tours and talking to friendly people like you. Uh, hey, hey, hey. All right, ladies. Let's go to the Bocaria. Let's go to the Bocaria, man. So we're going to go to Barcelona's biggest market. They've got basically everything there. And I've got the French women, the first French ladies that have ever talked to me on the street. Hello, Parisian girls. Parisian girls. In yeah. Parisian curls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Parisian girls in Parisian curls. Crazy Parisian girls. Ladies. She wants to find a husband, no? No, I have a... Guard your stuff, all right? Guard your stuff. Okay. We're in, Madri we're in Barcelona's dodgiest district. Did you know that? This is the most dodgy district 
the most dodgy area in Barcelona. Hopefully they're not talking bad about me in French. All right. So we're here at the Boqueria. But you don't travel with people? Hello. Yes, I do travel and I always meet people. I'm gonna meet a local tomorrow. Ah. This is just an absolute massive market. They've got everything here. These fruit juices, fruit salads, ham, beer, tapas, pomegranate. Wow, look at that, pomegranate. Granada. They had no idea what I said. But I'm in search for something more interesting, something that a famous American author by the name of Ernest Hemingway used to drink. So the next stop we're gonna go, if it's open, is Barcelona's oldest bar, Marcel Bar, where the likes of Picasso, Van Gogh, Hemingway, etc. Famous people used to frequent, and they even sold absinthe. So we're gonna look for some absinthe after this. Hopefully I don't hallucinate and get lost in the dodgy alleyways of uh, El Raval. Wow. A lot of fruit, lots of fruit. What it's do you think? It's good for the what, health, huh? Yeah, what do you think so far of this market? I love it. I simply love it. No, I'm not there really so, in the market. I'm not doing grocery shopping. Yeah, everything's expensive here. What do you think? What are you, what are you in the mood for? What do you want to eat? Uh, couscous boulettes. Couscous. Couscous boulette, Tunisian girl. Uh, uh, you're Tunisian. Tonight yes. is Shabbat. You know Shabbat? Ah, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah. I don't speak uh, Arabic. Bismillah, no. I speak um, Hebrew. Hebrew. Oh, wow. Hebrew. 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 Yeah. Jewish. Oh, you're Jewish Tunisian woman. Yes. Shabbat Shalom. Paris. Tonight is Shabbat. Oh, wow. Shabbat Are you, Shabbat. Wow. Everything's going on in Barcelona tonight. Tonight is Shabbat. St. Patrick's Day tomorrow is Real Madrid, Barcelona, El Clasico. Oh my God, I came here at a good time. Jesus Christ, what, what else am I gonna find? Ladies, I gotta keep going, but it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very beautiful, very Thank friendly. You. Bye -bye. you guys are gonna be stars. Thank you. Yeah, hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. The first time French ladies ever talked to me. Wow, we got empanadas. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. He thought I was gonna fall for that one. Where without your consent, they try to give you a bracelet and then force you to buy it with immense pressure. So these look good right here. We've got some juices. Hola Liliana. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cuál me recomiendas? O sea, esos son como tropicales, ¿de dónde? Es fresa banana. Fresa banana? Piña, eso? Es pita y coco. Nunca lo he probado, así que regálame uno de eso. Vale. Liliana, ¿de dónde eres? Bolivia. ¿Boliviana? Sí. ¿Tienes algo de Bolivia? Aquí, solo yo. No, ah, solo tú. Eso me llamó la atención, las frutas como tropicales, ¿sabes? Viene de Tailandia. Tailandia. Pues nada, gracias Liliana. All right, a Bolivian woman in the market. Now Barcelona, as I mentioned, is a very big city. Between Madrid and Barcelona, there are several hundred thousand South Americans like Carolina here. Hola Carolina. Um, probably from Bolivia as well. Wow, this tastes really good. Creamy. And yeah, like coconut um, with a light touch of strawberry. That fruit is very interesting. I already forgot the name of it. So we've got a lot of ham products here, cheese products because Catalonia is known for its ham and cheese and Spain for that matter. And so there's several hundred thousand immigrants from South America because of course they were colonized by the Spanish centuries ago. And so that's like the number one destination for South American immigrants besides the United States because of the lack of the language barrier. And so it's very interesting. If you do speak Spanish, you'll be able to differentiate between the peninsular Spanish accent and South American accent. What's up guys? What's up? Where are you from? French. French, all right. Yes. Awesome, I already met some really nice French ladies. You guys are like the friendliest people I've met in Barcelona so far, the French. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. <laughs> so um, what do you guys like about Barcelona? Compared to Paris, for example. The beach. The beach, the weather. Would you say it's a lot cheaper? Yeah, of course. Um, what else? Uh, do you like the Spanish language? Yes. Do you speak Spanish? Yes. Hola. And you? Si, sí, hablo español. ¿Hablas bien? Si, sí, claro. <laughs> vale, vale. 
Voy a seguir, ¿vale? Pero un saludo. Right. Que viva France. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Just in one video, I made the whole country of France look friendly. All right. So here we got a lot of these ham products, meat products. If you're a vegetarian, Spain might be a bit difficult because seafood and meat obviously form a huge part of the Spanish diet. Ooh. As Afro Man once said, there was a fish market. This is the fishy part of the market. R really, really fresh seafood directly from the Mediterranean Sea. And of course, much cheaper than you would find anywhere in the United States. So if you do come here and you happen to like seafood or shellfish, you must take advantage of the seafood as well as the ham because you can't get this stuff in the United States. Hola, ponme eso. Uno. Sí. ¿Cómo te llamas? Alejandra. ¿De dónde eres? Hondure Hondureña. Somos primos americanos. Yo soy gringo. ¿Te gusta trabajar aquí? Sí. O sea, ¿qué te gusta de vivir en España como una hondureña? Bueno, mira, trabajo. Hay trabajo. Más que todo el trabajo. Sí, y seguridad. Ya que ustedes no nos dejan pasar a Estados Unidos. Ah, claro, claro. Es, es complicado. Entonces, venir acá. Complicadito. Gracias. Gracias, cariño. Ok, Alejandra. All right, so she says they're all the same. We're gonna give it a go. Bye bye, Alejandra. ¿Dónde está la salida? Hay uno por el fondo. Solo allá. Un parque. Es peligroso. ¿Por qué? Let's go. <laughs> all right. She said behind the market is dangerous. So that's the first warning we've got. Which I guess I'm not surprised because we'll talk about the danger in a second here. So as Alejandra alluded to, this park is, I guess, dangerous. I would assume so more at night. That's because the statistics say so. Now some statistics say there's over 700 robberies on a daily basis, mostly petty theft here in Barcelona. And I wouldn't put it past the statistics. So we're gonna sit down in this kind of a trashy place, this kind of dirty park, and uh, give the Spanish ham a go before we continue our journey. All right, so we have what's called fuet here, which is like pretty processed Spanish sausage, and it really is cured, it doesn't spoil, um, but it's a great piece of meat to bring hiking because it doesn't spoil, as I said. Hmm. 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 Now, if you like things like chorizo, sausage, ham, you're gonna love this. It does have a slightly strange texture, but yeah, it's good. But the next best thing we're gonna try is the Spanish jamón ibérico. All right, so here we have the famous um, Spanish cured ham, the jamón ibérico, mostly produced in the land of Extremadura and Andalusia. Now they're fed acorns and they're free range, very happy fat pigs with the black feet, pata negra, and it just creates this tender melt in your mouth ham that is worth paying for. And we have a slice of what I think is manchego cheese. Hmm, not bad. Now with the market behind us, we're gonna head into the heart of El Raval. Hola. Come un boldan. Copy? Pequeño o grande? Grande. Vale. Copy? Este boldan solo es de Barcelona, verdad? O de, de Catalu Catalonia? Bueno, Estrella Dan, los dos son... Uh... Okay. Wow. ¿Me quieres emborrachar o qué? <laughs> ¿Cuánto vale? 5.20 5.20 for a big one, not too bad for Barcelona um, I've noticed that everything here is like usually like 50 cents to a euro more expensive than other places like for example in Malaga where I live a coffee is usually like 140 here it's like 2 euros it is what it is, it's still not Paris prices thank god but yeah, gotta adjust Hi, we're gonna try this Voldam with some true Catalan men all right, what's your name? Hey man, Santi. Santi, he How speaks English. How are you? Hola. Uh, his, um, Bienvenidos a Barcelona. He's going to Missouri, so this is a double Malta with a Catalan. Can't get any more Catalan than that. Adios, amigo. All right, so this beer is very, very strong. Like I said, it's a malt beer. Um, 
only produced here in Catalonia. Seven or eight percent, so you gotta be a little careful. I've always wanted to drink one of these while in Barcelona. I've tried them elsewhere in Spain. Yeah, they definitely hit hard. And we haven't even tried the absinthe yet. Pero cuidado que aquí el arabal, las tu cámaras, está muy peligroso si alguien robar seguro. Mochila, mochila, cartera, todos, hay guardar bien, vale? All right. My Bangladesh friend just warned me. I gotta be careful. Mañana a la once, California, California. Down the hatch. Hasta luego. Hasta luego, All right, Ricardo. Adios, amigo. How many friends can I make in Barcelona in one day? With the camera, it's quite easy. Hola. Hola. Maybe they wanted to sell me drugs, I'm not sure. So more about Barcelona. Barcelona is in Northeast Spain on the Mediterranean coast Hello. in Catalonia. Hey guys, what's up? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu I'm assuming those were Moroccan guys. But anyways, Catalonia is an autonomous community, a region of Spain. Hey bro, woohoo! Oh, it's getting active here on a uh, Saturday night. And to be frank, this part of Spain just feels so different than Andalusia, than Madrid, Extremadura. It almost feels like a mixture of like another European country with Spain at the same time, but it is definitely distinct. And one of the things that makes it popular, of course, is the climate. It's a bit chilly today. We have the beaches, which we're gonna go see later, the port which is the biggest cruise port in all of the Mediterranean. And also this city is the biggest city on all of the Mediterranean coast. Now what makes Raval such a unique place? Well, it was formerly known as Barrio Chino or Chinatown, and it has since converted into a place that's full of different ethnicities, cultures, nationalities, vintage shops. It is truly diverse and unique, especially when you go to rural Spain, smaller places in Spain, it's very homogenous. And when you're in a city like Barcelona and especially El Raval or Lava Pies in Madrid, you definitely notice how it's vastly different than the heart of Spain. And so here we have a famous statue from the famous author of Botero, the Gata, La Gata. And La Gata, it's known for basically being indestructible. Let's see. Yeah, you ain't doing anything to this guy. And it's known for having some big balls, right? Big cojones, as you see. Cojones. <laughs> Those guys thought that was weird. Where is the most dangerous part of Raval? The most dangerous part? Here. All right, he says the most dangerous part is there. Let's go find it out. Hola. Ah, sorry, sorry. I'm not recording you. They didn't want me to record them. No problem, I wonder why. So yeah, you guys, definitely in this zone, you can imagine. Okay, wow. <laughs> the police cheering me on. <laughs> you can imagine in this zone as, as night falls, it does get a bit dodgy. Definitely got a lot of eyes on me here. So the guy back there was in line. Yikes. Ooh. Another thing that Raval is known for is people consuming drugs, shooting up right in the street. 
sex workers or prostitutes in the open. Hopefully that doesn't get me demonetized, but it's a fact here. And one of the reasons that I mentioned that it is an infamous barrio, apart from all the history, yeah, that's a reality that we can't deny. But it also makes it interesting. And so, wow, we gotta see what we have up, you gotta see what we have up here. Wow. I just felt like I walked through Barcelona's Skid Row a little bit. You can only imagine at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, one in the morning. Wow. But at the same time, you're mixed in with tons of tourists. The police are patrolling. It's really as dangerous as you make it. If you let your guard down, if you're just wasted at night, if you're filming a video with a camera, your bag's wide open, you're kind of putting a target on your back. And that's kind of a known thing in any large European city. Getting some dodgy looks here. Salam alaikum. Nice guys. Last time I filmed the police, <laughs> they uh, tried to take my video down. I was filming in Ceuta, Spain, the other Spanish autonomous city, a border city. <laughs> Buenos dias, hola. Now, while the police do patrol, they are trying to prevent violent crime. If you do get something stolen here, they're probably not gonna help you at all because I've read online numerous times, oh, I filed a police report, my phone got stolen, my passport, and the police, yeah, when you have 700 robberies a day, what are they gonna do? You know, and I've even heard of stories where someone gets their phone stolen here in Barcelona and they track their phone and it ends up in a different country. I mean, so basically you guys, the moral of the story, just protect your stuff. Otherwise you will face consequences and it'll make your travel experience unfortunate. Um, oh no, but this one here is the most dangerous part of the city. No, I've seen a lot of Yonkis and things like that. No, I'm from all Barcelona. All Barcelona is like that? No, but... I'm not from here, so I've seen a lot of people looking at me weird. Yes, what I would do with that. In serio? Yes, yes, because people here... What I see... No les recomiendo que vaya así. Sobre todo por la noche. Por la por noche, la noche sí, sobre todísimo. Pero pues entonces sí es peligroso aquí por la noche. Es peligroso para allí. Pas ah. Pasado las chimeneas de allí, si vas para allí. ¿Podemos ver? Sí, sí no. Bueno. What's your names? Claudia. Cla Claudia? Claudia. Indira. In Indira. Indira. Are you Spanish? Española? Sí. All right. Catalanas. Okay, catalanas, not Spanish. <laughs> They're going to show me where the other dodgy part is of Raval. Tiene mala fama Raval o Sí, a ver, mala fama por las drogas, pero la gente y tal es buena gente. Claro, hay de todo, ¿no? Sí, y como veo muchos turistas, me parece que no hay problema, sino que tienen que tener cuidado por la noche. Y por la noche y por el día, en verdad. Yo sigo como cuidando mi bolsillo, Eso sí, por si acaso. Si tú no te metes con nadie, no van a meterse con Ah, vale. Pero qué pasa cuando yo he visto que hay como 600, 700 robos por día, carteristas y cosas sí, así. Sí, sobre todo en el tren y en el metro. Se te ponen muy cerca aprovechando que hay gente y te meten la mano en el bolsillo y te roban todo. ¿Y habéis evitado robos toda tu vida? Eh, Siendo... Me han intentado robar. Pero estabas preparada, ¿no? Sí. Qué bien. A mí sí que me han robado. Ay. A mí hace nada me robaron 25 euros porque me pusieron una navaja aquí en el cuello. ¿En serio? Sí, tuve que dárselo todo, no había más. No jodas. Sí, sí. Wow. These, chi these girls here are raised differently. They've attempted to rob her, but she hasn't been robbed, and she's been robbed at knife point. Qué locura. Pues sí. La vida aquí es muy diferente que en Málaga donde vivo. Málaga vive. Sí, ¿te ah. gustaría visitar? Bueno, nunca he ido, pero debe de ser bonito. Sí. Hace buen tiempo ahora mismo, 95 grados. Está buenísimo. So also Raval is known kind of as like the red light district, historically speaking. And of course it's been an issue here for better or for worse. I guess it's regulated, but I don't really know. So, hay un problema con prostitución en, en Barcelona, en el Raval. Es complicado en el tema de los negocios. Cuando ellos abren un local, tienen que tener un... Un permiso. Un permiso. Si lo abren sin permiso, la policía no hace mucho caso. Sí, no hay entonces hay problema. mucha explotación. Sí. Muchas veces sí. No en todos, pero hay algunos que sí. Y se nota. And uh, she was saying that 
this activity is going on basically everywhere. And of course you would assume that it's associated with drug use and poverty because if it's not discreet, it's gonna be in the street. That rhymed. <laughs> so yeah, whereas, you know, things like this in Spain are actually quite common in Europe as well, Germany, whatever, uh, but usually, I guess it's supposed to be regulated and if you're not seeing it, then that's like the more legal kind. But if you're seeing it in the street, obviously you're dealing with a lot of unfortunate situations that, yeah, it's, a, it's certainly a taboo topic to talk about, but it's a reality of here in Barcelona, in El Raval. And so these girls were showing me the last part that is supp supposedly dodgy here. So we're gonna go take a little walk through there to see what it looks like. See if we can talk to some people. ¿Os gusta vivir en Barcelona? No. No? A mí no. ¿Por qué? Coche, mucha contaminación. ¿Prefieres al campo o un, una ciudad sí. más pequeña? Prefiero un pueblo apartado. A mí me gusta vivir en Barcelona. Sí, porque tú eres como una chica urbana. Sí, me gusta mucho el tema de que haya mucha gente, además hay más trabajo. Sí. Entonces es todo más fácil. Es bastante interesante más también. Más y los de estos son muy caros. Sí. Todo claro, es claro. O sea, no imposible más alquilar más un piso solo, no. sin compañeros. Este... Ahora los alquileres rondan los 800... Más. Para una habitación. No, una, no, una casa, no, no. Uno, un, una, piso, un piso. Un piso. Un pisito. Una habitación te 400. podría... 400. Tranquila. En el centro todo es más caro. Cuando te vas sí. yendo por las afueras, sí. y va bajando los precios. Sí. So yeah, you guys, of course, the topic of rent here is becoming absurd. I would find it hard to believe in a good neighborhood that you could find a studio or a one bedroom for less than a thousand euros. And if the Spanish minimum wage is right around 1,000 euros, what the heck are you supposed to do to a city that's loaded with foreigners? And we're seeing the same everywhere in Madrid and in Malaga, all around the world. But in particular, Barcelona is probably the worst in Spain. Sois muy valientes. <laughs> Una pregunta. Eh, ¿Os sentís como española o catalana? ¿O te, te da igual? Eh, catalana. ¿En serio? Sí, porque España, la política y todo lo que hay en España es un poco una mierda. Hay cosas que son muy radicales y muy absurdas. ¿Quién te enseña que tú eres catalana? O sea, ¿por qué te sientes catalana y no española? Pues, a ver, mi familia es catalana y también el idioma que se habla, el catalán, es dependiendo de la familia. En la familia, en cada familia, hay diferentes ideologías, ya sea de pues, la cultura Ajá. o la religión, eso. Cosas y, por ejemplo, aquí no haces corrida de toro ni... En Cataluña no, no se ve muy bien, ah, porque sí. lo prohibieron por el tema de los toros, porque sí. lo vienen como un maltrato. Bullfighting es... Not something that highlights Catalonia. They're anti bullfighting, among other things. And you know, like I said earlier, this part of Spain is totally distinct. You'll notice some of the gastronomy, the paella, the jamón, the mariscos, the seafood, etc., is all the same. But the people feel different. And not everybody. There's a lot of people with, for example, Andalusian uh, heritage. Barcelona is a city that has had millions of immigrants from all around Spain come here through the years to work, search for a better life, and as such they have heritage from the true Spain. And so yeah, Barcelona is a fascinating place. All right, I've been informed by the informants that this is the area where everything is sold. Informants. <laughs> nah, I mean, definitely you, uh, yeah, it smells like weed everywhere here. <laughs> Smoky dopey. <laughs> This way. This way. What's this way? This way. Rondo uh, Santo Antonio. Alrighty. Thank you. Rondo Santo Antonio. Carlo Palandina. Nosotros nos vamos que tenemos que hacer un par de cosas. Okay. Eh, que le vaya muy bien en el vlog. Gracias. Don't don't. Eso, no, don't no, no, no trust. No. Don't trust people. Go your way. No. All right. Thank you. I'm Portuguese. All right. I'm not from Spain. I'm Portuguese. You're Polish. Portuguese. 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 Oh, I'm from Madeira. Vale, vale. Obrigado, obrigado. <laughs> <laughs> nice people. At least the Portuguese and the French in El Raval. But yeah, you guys, this is like the dodgiest part of Raval and also the most multicultural part. I've been told that this is where they sell everything. 
Um, I want to thank these girls. Thank you guys for showing me around. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're awesome. Now we've arrived to like the contemporary culture center. This place is absolutely popping. We got skaters everywhere. Take a look. Like literally probably over 50 skaters. <laughs> wow. This is also an interesting area where lots of uh, interesting people are hanging out among the skaters. Nice guys. Barcelona's good shit. Hey bro, what's good? How are you? Assalamu alaikum. What's up bro? Where are you guys from? Mustafa. Marruecos. Tu Marroquino. Sarha. Sarawi. Sarawi. Ah, Casablanca. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. No, no hablo francés. Ah, sí, sí, para un video de YouTube. No pasa nada. Vale. ¿Cómo se llama el video? Adventure Elliot. Aquí para grabar. ¿Cómo se vive? ¿Cómo se vive en el Raval? ¿Cómo se vive? ¿Cómo se vive? Okay, what's up, bro? How you doing? All right. Do you have pencil? Do you have pencil? ¿De dónde sois, amigo? Senegal. Vale. ¿Y tú? Senegal también. Bonjour. What up, bro? Ah, okay. All right. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Sorry. All right, you guys. I'm gonna head out. Take care. Take care. What's going on, man? See you, bro. West Coast. <laughs> West Coast. You like some Dr. Dre, some yeah, Snoop Dogg? Hey. Hey. System. Fuck the police. Fuck the system. All right. <laughs> Straight out of Compton. Fuck the system because the police is in the fucking system. That's it, bro. That's it. Talk to me. You guys got fined for what? For being on the street. Just doing this? Drinking. Oh shit, well. Plastic cup though. No problem, no Not problem. Not only drinking. Hey, hey, we drink in the fuck you. <laughs> he's an artist. I'm a DJ. He's a I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, I know, I know, bro. In here you see a lot but of artists. the police. Fuck the police. Yeah, yeah. man. Hey, fuck what do you think? Police. You're, you're right. Sarawi. Fuck, 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 fuck the police. I scared on your blood. Fuck the police because everywhere you go, you go to see someone. Muchos corruptos. Hey, fuck those corruptors. Come on. We are all the foolish. Hey, this guy's a true Californian from LA. Hey, bro. Buena familia, eh? Sahara Occidental. Sara. Sahara Libre. You're not Moroccan, bro. You're not, you're not Moroccan. You're not Moroccan then. No, I don't. Sahara Libre. Sahara Libre. Escúchame, hijo de puta, el gobierno. Sahara, no pa' vender. Es tuyo. Casa. Okay. Hey. All right. See you later, guys. Take care. Hey. Hey, guys, come in here. Enseñalo, enseñalo al alcalde de Barcelona, Sahara Libre. Sahara Libre. I think Spain. I think Spain is with you, bro. I don't know about Catalonia. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. All right. Wow. Friendly people here at the skate park, in front of the cultural center. Wow. Nice. Let's get some more of this shit on camera. My name is Lilac, but well, that's my artistic name. Canadian Spanish. I was born in Canada, uh, raised in Barcelona, and Italian grandparents, what, Jewish you, Sephardi blood. And so what were you saying about the police here, the treatment of the police towards the citizens? Uh, last night, all of us we were just having fun and, and drinking, obviously, but in plastic cups, which is normally legal. And like they took away my friend's uh, speaker. He's a DJ. And this secret police grabbed my arm like, like this. And I said, stop being aggressive you're being aggressive if someone grabs my arm i'm gonna i'm gonna yank so, it away that guy was a bit aggressive and then I, I talked to him for a bit while he was finding me for drinking which i was in a plastic cup and they shouldn't have fined me and i and, and i and i brought him down because he was being really 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 aggressive with his words sure. and with his actions and movements and like man i'm a citizen you're not you can't do that to me it's okay i'm not gonna pay the fine no one pays the fucking fines because it's all bullshit. all i do is art Love, peace, prosperity, abundance. So I have a question. You being born in Canada, but also being raised here, how do you identify? Like, what do you feel most? I don't, I don't, I don't, I feel from where I am. Like, in my body, in my okay. heart. All right. My, you know? So you speak I, mostly English or Spanish? I speak English, Italian, Spanish, Catalan, Portuguese, French, and now learning German. 
because I'm, I'm in mid June. I'm going to Vienna. They invited me there so. to do work, to work, to just to 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 live, experience life in another place. All right, awesome man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, you guys, this also might be the ganja smoking center because I smell ganja everywhere. But an interesting fact about Barcelona is that there's over 700 cannabis clubs in the city. Meaning you go there, you purchase, you smoke cannabis without any consequences. I'm not sure about what it's like on the street, but you smell it everywhere, including right here. So yeah, if you like the smoky dopey, the Mary Jane, the ganja, the devil's lettuce, Barcelona is your place. This guy, the Escobar here. He's, he's a Pablo Escobar? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this guy. He have some good weed. This guy. Yeah, 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 really, really, no, really. No, no, no. Ah, no, problem. no problem, we we have the true Pablo Escobar. Yeah, yeah, no He's living problem. right here in this Barcelona, straight from Senegal. Yeah, from Senegal. <laughs> from Senegal. No, no, I feel you, bro. Hey, I gotta head out, bro, I gotta head out. Take care, take care. One love, one love, brothers. All right, my brothers, my brothers of Barcelona. Muy bien. Oh, yes. Yes. Something else that really catches my attention here in El Raval is the way that the people hang their clothes, the plants hanging, the narrow alleyways. It's a bit quiet on this alleyway. It's certainly a very fascinating place to live. And like I said earlier, it's a melting pot. There's Catalans, there's Spanish, there's tourists, there's foreigners from other parts of Europe, North America, Pakistanis, Indians, South Americans, basically everything Africans, really making it one of a kind place to live. And yeah, you just really feel like you're in a different place. You guys, so I said earlier, we're gonna go to the oldest bar in Barcelona. And it's right here around the corner. Okay. 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 No. All right. Hola. Here we are, Bar Marcela. Wow, it looks old. Hola. <coughs> Esto es el bar más antiguo de Barcelona, ¿no? Sí, señor. Tenés, uh, ¿Tienes absinthe? Yes. A ver. Oh, they have it. Really? Oh. All right, you guys. Hopefully I don't die. Or start hallucinating and get lost in Raval at night. Wow, you guys. This really is Hola. the oldest bar in Malaga. I think it would. I think, it's, I think it opened in 1820. ¿En qué año empezó? ¿Qué año abrió el, la Marsella? 1820. 1820. Wow. You can just imagine Hemingway right here drinking his absinthe, his whiskey, talking about bulls, talking about the Civil War, talking about women with all his buddies. Wow, the history right here. Incredible. All right, so never have I ever tried alcohol like this. This is a first in honor of Ernest Hemingway. So I was told there's a little hole in this water. You just drip, drip it on the sugar so it mixes. I don't know how much. I see? All right, let's give it a go. Hopefully I don't hallucinate and get lost in the city. Ooh, it smells like licorice. <laughs> Voy a morir. Voy a perderme en Raval. Y alguien me va a robar. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. So just a little update after that crazy absinthe experience. First time trying absinthe. Unfortunately, I'm not hallucinating. <laughs> I don't know if it's true or not, but yeah, I've heard people say that absinthe can give you just a crazy drunk. Good thing I only drank one shot because you don't want to get lost here at night and start hallucinating. So we've got two more important stops on this tour of Barcelona, El Raval, and a few other things. 
and I'll just have to say that the last stop is extremely emblematic of the city. You're not gonna wanna miss it, so keep watching. And I also wanna let you guys know that the reason I haven't been uploading so much in English is because I've been working really, really extra hard on my Spanish channel. So I've been making lots of videos in Spanish, and as such, I haven't had time for English. But my goal is to maintain both of them, travel, and so if you wanna keep learning Spanish and listening to me in Spanish, well, my Spanish channel is in the description, Aventurero Elliot en Español. And I'm gonna keep making videos in English because, because my goal long term is to travel all of South America, other parts of the world, and really turn this into something bigger than I ever believed. So I appreciate all your guys' support. So yeah, let's go finish the last stop. Two very emblematic places in the city of Barcelona. Well, you guys, we've arrived at dusk at our final stop in the beautiful city of Barcelona, one of nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It really looks like a scene from a movie. This is the famous La Sagrada Familia. Have a look. Absolutely stunning. Nothing like I've ever seen before. Hi. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> we've, we, we've got some more friends. Whoa, you speak English. Where are you yeah. from? I'm originally from Mexico. I live in Norway. Oh, wow. Que chulo. Somos primos. Yeah. <laughs> y, y tu? I'm from Mexico and I live here. All right. Mexico City and I live here too. All right, ladies. How do you compare Barcelona? How do you like Barcelona compared to living in Mexico? I mean, the art is at a different level. So now that we're here at the Sagrada Familia, I can really appreciate the beauty of the understanding of what it's, what does it mean actually? Like I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. So I'm like, I can appreciate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. I can appreciate like the value of the history and what does it mean, you know, like from the beginning of the history, from him, from where he was born until like he died for us and then resurrected for us. So that, and that represent like, I, as I'm here, my friend who lives here in Barcelona, and she tell him like all the history and like there is no bigger building here um, in Barcelona rather than the Sagrada Familia because they what they meant is like nobody else can get farther than that like any building after you see the city because um, it, it's how far you can go with God so and it, like it gives a different understanding of the gospel you know like different yeah. understanding of what it actually means like he died for us but that's represent also eternity so like everything is related with this like actually this artist who like his full point of it is like representing the gospel through art and it's in a different way of like the normal understanding of church wise you know yes all right you guys we just got the speech of the day from what's your name again noemi noemi La Mexicana, las Mexicanas y el gringo. Así que, que viva Barcelona, que viva México y que viva Estados Unidos y España. See you guys in the next video. Hasta luego. Wow, lady.